Hey everybody, it is Brooke with Refab. Um, so I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I've got two different greens. I've got marsh green and I've got limeade. They're both apple barrel, lime green, I mean limeade and marsh green. And then I've got two different yellows. We've got pale daffodil and yellow, okay? <laughs> Thank you. For real. Okay, so let's just start painting with this daffodil, okay? Hi, Sharon from Illinois. This is a really pretty yellow color, which we're gonna go over it with a little bit darker one too. And these are laser cut. These that I'm using are laser cut, so the sides are actually, um, they're like black. So I don't want to paint them. I'm just gonna go to the edges. Uh, somebody said, I wish you would craft more. I know, I want to, it's, y'all, I'm serious. It's just so hard to find enough hours in the day because I do so many things besides just crafting. Like, you know, I blog and I blog a lot of decorating and crafting. I also blog travel and I have a coaching group. We have a boutique, like there's so many things. And it's like, I would love if I just could craft all the time live. Like that would be amazing. But there's just so much more to what I do. And there's meetings and all that. And like I catch myself not going live as much as I wish I did. So I'm really, really, really trying to do better about that. And just making it a part of my day. Because I love interacting with y'all. Absolutely love it. So just bear with me as I'm going through some busy times right now in my business and in my life. And y'all just keep hanging around. I promise, I promise, I promise that we will get to craft a lot um, in the future. If y'all can just bear with me through some of this time that I'm not getting able to, not being able to as much as I did, okay? So, we are painting this really pretty yellow. And it is really covering well. And it's really looking like a bright, sunny, true yellow. It's not gold. It is true sunshine yellow. It is so pretty, y'all, for real. Okay. Mom, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? I never know what she might say. What? You break out into song. Like I do break out into song, and I don't really know that that's funny. <laughs> You're just in the middle of your sentences, and all of a sudden, trees! Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're looking like right now. Okay. So she said, thank you, Hannah. I guess maybe Hannah's on here helping. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. I know the coloring might be different from like Facebook, doing the best we can over here. Um, so we're gonna leave it like this till it dries. And then, yeah, my shirt is from my boutique. I don't know if we have any more left, but I'll be glad to grab y'all a link. Okay, so then at the top, we're gonna use the marsh green first, okay? Yes, Hannah is on here, I see her. Hello, Hannah, darling. Okay, so we're gonna, wait, how did I just, I thought I lost y'all, I swear. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and paint the top with this marsh green. If y'all follow me on Facebook and y'all watch all my lives, and some of them, you know, are on Instagram, so you can see them on here too. We've been trying to put all of them over here so that we're not leaving our Instagram friends out because y'all are just as important to us. But, you know that I love marsh green. It is literally, this color green right here, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful in the uh, Christmas time, like for trees and stuff. But you know I don't always leave like one color green. I like to layer, I like to add highlights, I like to add all the beautiful things. So it will not just be this one green, but this is an awesome base color, y'all. If you're looking for a base color, for a green that you want like a deeper tint to, then this Marsh Green by Apple Barrel, it is a good one, okay? It covers well. It's just a really good one. And it looks really pretty against this brighter sunny yellow. And like I said, we're also gonna use this Limeade, which is like a, well, it's like Limeade, it's like lime. Um, and then we're also gonna use this deeper yellow that's more of a golden yellow. So we're gonna be layering on top of these, and so it's gonna be really, really pretty in the end. So right now, I'm just taking my time and just kind of gliding my brush on my pineapple and just making sure to get good coverage and nothing too thick. Um, 
Y'all know I'm not a professional painter by any means, but I have a big time doing it and I love it. You know what I did not even think to do? I might have to get my girl to help me with this. Yes. I didn't even think about a bow. Why, I was literally just about to say that. Why in the world would I have not thought about a bow? Because I need a bow right here. Hello. Hey, shirts are sold out. Dang. I'm sorry, guys. These shirts are sold out. We had them a long time. It's been a month or two or three or four. Heck, I don't know. <laughs> um, since we had these shirts. So, I thought they might be. But I thought, you never know. We might still have a few. Hey, can I pick up the colors and you tell me if you like them? The colors of some ribbon and stuff? Yeah. Get some. Um, I'm going to do some neutral and then see if I have any yellow. And I like that black and white polka dot. Okay. I'm actually going to be giving this to somebody that I know, so I, I do need, and I know exactly kind of how it needs to be, so I kind of have to stick within that um, realm. Let's see what y'all are saying. Hope the puppy gets better. What happened to the puppy? I don't know. Oh, is it the stitches thing? Maybe they saw that a while back when she... No, I don't know what was said that... The incision? Yes, I'm on IG. Whoop, whoop. I'm not on IG enough. It makes me want to get on here more, though. It's really fun. But I don't know what's going on with my sound on Facebook. It, it's just so frustrating. I don't know what, what they mean about hope the puppy gets better. So I'm really not sure what that means. <laughs> um, Does this match? She, this? My puppy is perfectly fine. Wild as a hornet. Acting... Ooh, Do you think this fool. looks good? I saw. I, uh, I don't yellow. think I want pink, but thank you. I have these two so far. Okay. Gray and black is perfect, and then I've got some neutral over here, so we're good. Okay. I don't have to have yellow. That's perfect. Eden got me some ribbon. So, you know what else I'm going to need, though? Well, there's scissors right here. I okay. was going to say, mind. you could, um, in the bottom... You could do um, white polka dots with a I could. sponge thing. That, yeah, I don't think I want to use a sponge, though, Duh. today. End okay, of a paper guys. Brush, you could use the end of a paper. Okay. Someone's puppy is in the puppy hospital. Okay, thank y'all. I'm only seeing, like, a couple at a time. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, I'm so sorry. Wasn't trying to... I thought you were talking about my puppy. I just was like, well, as far as I know, she's okay. But, yes, definitely praying for that puppy. Less. Okay, I'm going to add some white, just a little bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and add some of my limeade. Mom, you could use this paintbrush and do the little swirls that you do with your... Okay, I, let me... Okay, so I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to add the crisscrosses on the pineapple Ooh. because um, y'all know when... They're like Sometimes I see polka dots, which I love. Y'all know I love polka dots, but... I also really enjoy those little crisscross, like, lattice looks that uh, pineapples have. Like, Okay, yeah. I want to show y'all these colors right here. <coughs> look how pretty they all look together. I know that the coloring is, like, you know, not good. Um, this is not a door hanger. This is actually, like, a wreath attachment size. It's not that big, but... Um, I'm actually sending it to somebody. I'll tell you all about it some other well, time. Well, I have to guess. I but have hold guess. on. No, no, don't guess. I don't know. No, not right now. Oh, okay. okay, so I'm getting the darker yellow on this. And then all I'm going to do is just start. I'm going to start at the top and kind of go down. And I'm barely putting. Can y'all see this? I think you can. Um, and I'm just barely going down. I'm not even worried about if I get it all the way on there or not. I'm just doing some lattice work. I hope this looks good. If not, guess what? I'll tell you. Well, yeah, I know you'll <laughs> tell me. Um, but no, that's not what I was going to say. I was going to say, if not, if this looks bad, if my lattice work looks bad, guess what I'll do? I'll paint over it again and it'll be fine because perfection is overrated. I told y'all that a bunch of times. It was never really rated because God says no one's perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Is that right? No, what's over, nobody is perfect. What's overrated mean? <laughs> like when Girl, someone... I gotta I got be thinking about this lattice work. How am I supposed to be answering what is overrated mean? Well, does it mean when someone says something so great, but it's not really as great as they say it is? Yeah, that's part of it, yeah. Cool. Hey, go in, go in there with Posey. Don't you need someone to tell you if it looks good? Yeah, I'll, I'll call you back in here. I'll be sitting at the door waiting. Okay. 
Okay, so here's my little lattice work we got going. It looks pretty good. I mean, it's not like I'm a lattice expert. I actually, I'm very far from it. And I'm gonna add a little more highlights down at the bottom. But how good is that looking? I know this, this lighting is so bad. So, um, anyway, Posey's out there being. Eden, stop. I'm not even doing anything. Eden, really I'm just to be on live. And I want her to be on live as much as possible, but sometimes I'm just like, okay. So I'm gonna add a little bit of white to this, and then I'm gonna go back over and highlight a few of the, Eden, stop. Take her in the other room, please. I'm just adding some white highlights to my lattice. And because it's still kind of wet, it's gliding on there really good. And it's kind of just like blending. And I'm sure you don't really call this lattice, but you know, don't matter. This looks so cute so far, for real. I didn't know, I was a little nervous. I'm telling you, y'all, I've had the worst luck today trying to be live. I have had the worst luck trying to be live today. Okay, so here's the bottom. Can y'all see this? I feel like the lighting is so bad. Let me see if I can. Maybe that helps. I don't know. But anyway, we're doing the best we can. I'll show y'all finished products. But now what we need to do is I'm going to add some polka dots to the top in the lighter one. Okay. Oh, we do have a affiliate link to the pineapple. Thank you. And it may look better for y'all than it does for me, but look how cute this is looking. Okay. So now I'm going to add polka dots to the top part. I know it keeps pausing and bling bling girl 67. I'm so sorry. I don't know who you are. <laughs> I hate being like bling bling girl 67. That's all I can see though. I know it keeps pausing. It's so annoying. We've had bad storms. My internet's acting crazy. Let's just keep going with it. We're going to add some polka dots. I'm going to use my lighter green. So I used the marsh green for the top. And then now I'm going to use limeade. Okay. So, oh me. Um, so I'm just going to, I didn't even clean out my brush from where I used the marsh green. I didn't even, didn't even clean that out. So this is just gonna be mixing in with that. If y'all watch me paint much, then you know I do this a lot. And all I'm gonna do is just start making some polka dots, okay? With my brush. I didn't even use any kind of special brush, okay? I just, I mean, I'll wing it up in here for real. Y'all have never seen somebody wing it as much as I do probably. It's definitely wung, winged, wang, whatever. Let's just stop that right now. Okay, let's keep adding some polka dots. As you can see, I haven't dipped it in the green again. I just keep, um, just keep adding them. I don't want them to be super bold. They're pretty bold. That's why I'm not adding any more. I'm gonna do that one like here so it like looks like it's partial. Sorry, I gotta concentrate while I'm doing polka dots. You know what I mean? They can get a little out of hand. What are y'all saying? Need to add some green to your lattice work. Well, I might. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna add a little bit more green right here. And then I'm gonna add more white to the green. All right, let's keep making cute polka dots. If you don't want to draw your own polka dots, cause like maybe you just don't like doing it or you get nervous, just use a spouncer. I mean, spouncers are awesome. And all a spouncer is is those little polka dot things that you just literally, you know, spounce around on your paintings with. They're called spouncers. All right, let's see. It's looking pretty good. Not bad for a amateur. Okay, so 
I'll go ahead and show you what it's looking like. We're not done. We're still going to be adding all the fun stuff, okay? So, it's going to be, it's still going to be so cute. So, don't y'all worry. And we got to add the bow, too, okay? So, hello. Okay, so, whenever I hold it up like this, I'm like, okay, I see some areas that need work. It just helps me to see it when I lift it up. So, it makes me see that some of these polka dots are, like, wonky, which I don't care if they're perfect. I am definitely not worried about that. But, I want them to be, I don't know, you know, you, you don't want them to be too weird. Because I'm giving this to somebody and I want it to be cute. Let's see. What are y'all saying? Thank you. I don't know how to move. Listen, if I could tell you how to move comments on Instagram, I would. I don't know if I've ever watched a live video on Instagram. I hate to say that, but that's the truth. Um, so, I, I mean, I just don't know. I just really can't help you. I saw somebody say, me too, Hannah, but I don't know what Hannah said. I'm just missing all the comments. I'm sorry. I'm just a loser when it comes to Instagram. Okay. Not when it comes to Instagram. I'll take that back. Rolling with it, but here we are. So, it's looking pretty good. Every time I hold it up, I keep feeling like something needs to be right here. But then I feel like when I'm looking at it, I don't know how to... I just don't know. I'm just... Maybe I just need a little partial circle right there. Every time I hold it up, it feels like it needs something. So, I'm just going to add something. I'm just going to add a little partial circle right there. I feel like that was just what it needed. So, let's hold it up one more time. Yes. Okay. It needed that. That looks good. So, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do now. I'm going to add some white. Okay. So, I'm just going to dab this either. Um, <laughs> Melanie, she said, me either. They told me you were live, so I tapped on it. Listen, that's about all I know about it too, for real. Okay. So, here is my white. I don't know why I'm showing y'all that, but so, I'm just going to kind of, I'm just kind of adding some highlights to my uh, circles, okay, up here, because highlights make the whole thing better. I don't know if you're very familiar with highlights, but listen, you don't use a lot of paint. You just kind of do a little dab, like it's one of those little dab will do you things, but they make the whole painting come alive, and th that's the truth. I know you can tell on that how it just totally See how, like, all of a sudden the top just pops? Yes. Okay, so that's super cute, or I think it is anyway. Now, if, if we want to add a little bit of green to the bottom, we can. So, I, but I just don't want to add too much that I mess it up. But I am going to add just a teeny tiny bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix my Limeade, which is the light green, a little bit of my marsh green and some white and get a green <laughs> that's kind of light okay and I am going to just kind of highlight here and there with it I mean barely barely I'm just kind of oh this is this actually looks good I just but it's not anything major not as much as I did before just a few little spots Notice I'm like barely putting my brush down. I'm like, well, you gotta really think about it. I don't wanna be too heavy handed. I was a little bit there, but that's okay. That's all right. Okay, that's all I'm doing, so I don't wanna mess it well. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so here we are. See how I added just a little bit down there at the bottom? Okay. So that was pretty good. And then the top, this is cute, okay? This is actually really cute. Now I'll tell you, I didn't plug in my hot glue gun because I wasn't thinking about needing it. I went ahead and plugged it in. Maybe it'll have time to get hot. But let's just make a cute little bow. Nothing over the top, but like a really cute bow. Because right here in the center, that bow will look fan fantastic okay fantastic and if you want to the cool thing about these door hangers is they're reversible it's not a door hanger this is a small one. it's like more like a wreath attachment but seriously um so the back you could do a different one if you wanted to and you could just flip it around but this is really cute so this is what it looks like right now 
and we're gonna do this bow and then boom, it's gonna be so cute. Let's see. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, Manning D. Yes, Facebook was not working, so we improvised. We come to Instagram. Instagram's working. Um, so, yes, absolutely. Okay, let me move my paint. I got a mess. Okay, so I really love this. Um, oh, I mean, it's ribbon. I don't really, it's kind of like burlap. I don't even know what you really, kind of how you would describe this ribbon, but I really like it. I like to use it a lot on my bows. So I'm gonna get me two pieces of that. This is actually what I'm gonna use. Typically I'll say if you're gonna make a refab bow that you would take some kind of burlap or wired ribbon that you can cross across the bottom like this. But this time we're just using this kind of burlap, which is fine too. So we're not gonna use the thick burlap. And then Eden picked out these ribbons, which some of them hadn't even been open yet. This one's a really cute polka dot one. And I really like that she chose that. So it's gray polka dot. That's gonna look really cute against that. So we'll use two pieces of that. And I'm not measuring or anything. We can always trim it up. So we're gonna use that. We also got some black and white polka dot, which is always a plus. Somebody said it's their first time on IG. So you mean your first time ever on Instagram or just watching me live? Cause I was about to say it's my first time ever live on Instagram too. So we're both here together, newbies, newbies. Okay, and then we're gonna just use some of this cause that's just cute. So we're just gonna kind of grab some of that for fun. Okay, I'm gonna cut that up and then we'll make a bow. Tell you what else I need though. I need some twine cause I gotta use it to cut the center or cut the center. Um, I don't even know what I'm saying here. Let's move this up here. Okay. So let's make our bow. If you've never seen one of my bows, it's the easiest bow you'll ever make. It's literally nothing to it. You'll take your base pieces and you'll put two across the bottom. Just like this. You're making an X, okay? I'm just going to lay it right here so you can see it. Then I'm going to take, then you just literally layer your ribbons. It literally does not matter what you're doing. So I'm just going to layer this ribbon, just little scrap pieces of ribbon. I cut it off. If you've just got some random ones, these are perfect for bows. And then I'm just gonna take some more pieces and you just keep layering them in X's. It can be as many as you want. This is a fairly small bow, so this is all I'm doing. Then, when you are needing to um, bring your bow together and finish it up, I use a piece of twine or a very thin piece of ribbon, like this size. But I'm gonna use a piece of twine this year, okay? Hey, Shannon Curtis, and I'm gonna lay it across the top. Oops. I'm gonna lay it across the top just like that and then flip it over. And then I am going to tie it as tight as I can where it brings it all together and forms a really cute bow. Okay? And then tie it in the back like in a knot. Okay? That's all you do. And then you have a really cute little bow. Nothing over the top, just a really cute little bow. And then you can trim it up if you want to and all that kind of good stuff, which we may need to do. I just kind of need to see it on the pineapple. I know I'm going to trim some of these pieces because they're getting a little out of hand. Okay. So, we got a really cute bow. Let me see if my hot glue gun is hot now. Mm, I think it is. Yes, it is. Bad boy heated right up. Okay, I'm just going to put a big old dab of hot glue on the back of my bow. And we're just going to put it right in the center of my pineapple here. Y'all, it's so cute. Thank you, Stephanie, 1383. Okay, y'all, this is so dang cute. I cannot wait for them to get this. <laughs> I have got, I make such a mess. Okay, look, how cute is this? And we can trim this up. If you feel like it's a little bit too big, you can trim up the bow and all that kind of stuff. But is this not the cutest little pineapple you've ever seen? So we just used, so let me just kind of go over what we did super fast. We had this pineapple. I have an affiliate link for you if you're interested in getting one of the little cutouts. I'll have Hannah post that in the comments here. And um, we used two shades of uh, yellow. We used, where is it? Oh, here it is. We used 
pale daffodil for our main uh, yellow down here at the bottom. And then to make the lattice crisscross, we went ahead and went over that with yellow, which is like more of a, it's not as bright and shiny. It's kind of more of a golden color. So we did the lattice work like that. Then we highlighted it with some white and a little bit of green. And then for the top, we went and we took our marsh green, which is a really pretty dark green, kind of like a hunter green, painted it, then took our limeade to make some polka dots, and then we added some um, highlights with white, and then we put our bow in the middle, y'all. That's all we did. It was so much fun. It looks so cute. This would be really, really cute, like in a wreath, um, as an attachment, you can buy bigger ones too and like just make it an actual door hanger and it'd be the same exact thing. I just had a little small one so I thought it would be fun to paint. But if you had a big size one, like a big normal door hanger, you definitely could do the same exact design. Just do a little bit bigger bow and just, I mean, it's the exact same thing. Um, but this would be really cute in a wreath or just wherever you want to put it. But anyway, super cute. Hope you enjoyed it. Yes, the perfect little summer decoration. You could even set it up in like a coffee bar or on a tiered tray. I don't know. Y'all know how to style things. It's just super fun to make stuff like this. So if you want one of these cutouts, you can use my affiliate link if you want to to get one from Tamara at Southern Adornments. That's who I get all my little wood cutouts from. She's a great friend of mine. Lives right down the road, really about 20 minutes from me if you're familiar with her. And um, that's all I got for you, y'all. Thanks for joining me on Instagram. If you're not already following me here, it's a great chance to hit that follow button and follow me over on Instagram. You never know. I may have to come live here a lot more if my Facebook doesn't get to working. And you know what? I enjoyed my time with y'all anyway, so I might just be coming live here more often anyway. Thanks for being here. Um, thanks for telling me who you are because I don't know some of these um, Instagram names. And I just hope y'all have a great night. Thanks for the compliments. And um, I'll see y'all real soon. Bye, guys.